Well, for this diorama, and like all the many other ones I've done, I start out with a research of something I'm interested in. And I was into buildings for a while, and I wanted to create my own buildings. And I wanted them to be original. So I would scour the internet for old farm buildings in Europe, Normandy, England, places like that. Um, I wanted to look for ones with really cool stonework, um, a lot of texture, just something that had lots of really cool features on it. And this photo that I came across stood out and I was like, okay, I'll base it on that. I really like the way these stairs look on this old building. And this looks like a, uh, a cattle farm probably. So here's the uh, structure I've started. I used sheet styrene that I got from a sign shop, scraps. They just give me what they throw away. The stairs are just carved out of a piece of styrofoam you use to put artificial plants in. Um, I've drawn everything out and then the accessory set from mini art was used for the windows and doors and a lot of the other accessories on here. It's a great set. I recommend it if you want to do your own thing and uh, it's really good. Here's the magic sculpt added to start the stonework. As you can see, some of the stonework's done. That's dry and finished. I work a little bit at a time on large buildings, uh, let it dry, then add some more around it. As you see here, um, flattening it out, but I still leave it lumpy to give that stone effect. Um, you can still see here the window and shutter in place. Um, I wish now after thought I would have recessed that window, but I didn't. And then once the putty's on, as you saw on the previous slide, I texture the Sculpey first, and then I carve in the stone with just a toothpick or a piece of wire, whatever you want to use. And here you can see the front wall finished and the other shutters in place. Um, it's a very satisfying way to work. I know a lot of modelers now are using styrofoam sheets to carve into. And here's the model pretty much completed, the model of the house. I used sprue from a kit to make the downspouts for the gutters and the gutter top part came from the accessory set. Uh, I had planned to use this Lynx in my diorama, but you'll see at the end that things kind of changed. And here is the starting of the roof shingles. I cut out little strips of styrene, thin styrene. I trimmed them out into just squares. I'm not like I don't make them perfect. I just do everything by eye. And then I glue them in place, starting from the bottom, working my way up, just like a regular roof you would shingle. Um, and I don't try to be perfect. I want it to look as random and broken up as possible to give a really cool effect um, of a shingled roof. And here you can see the Groundwork started, the base is a plastic photo frame. Um, the magic sculpt is used to build up the groundwork. And then I put sand as the sculpey was drying into it and pressed it in. The little stonework there on the ground was just some sheet styrene placed in. And here you see the model with static grass put in the vines on the side of the building are oregano and I just put some white glue on and sprinkled it on and that fiber uh, next to the stairs is going to be for a hedge. I've got some other little plants uh, stuck into the ground here, some flowers and uh, here you see I've airbrushed the oregano and 
the static grass and I started airbrushing some of the groundwork just to get some tones. The roof is now painted. Um, I do a lot of washes with thick oil paint here um, and not so thick that it's it's more of a wash and it stains it. Um, I usually underpaint it with a dark color like dark brown or black before I do this. And this gives a good um, base for uh, doing a lot of tones and shading. And here you see the model uh, just underpainted, I call it underpainted, ready for, it's like a canvas now to work on. Um, I can start using pastels, ground up, and oil paints, and even enamels to do some finishing paint. Here you see the uh, the oregano before it was painted. And that will have uh, some detail painting on it later. Here I start um, adding a wash. And I just make a dark wash out of an umber, um, burnt umber or artist oils. Um, anything you want to use dark. I just want it to get into the cracks and crevices of the stones and the stairs. Um, and you can see here, I have a cup made up and I just start painting it on. really adds depth when you add these washes. It's a very important step in the whole process. Here you see the final piece with all the oils on, the oil wash. Um, you can tell it's wet. And I'm gonna let that dry. The doors, the windows, and the shutters are just have a dark background on them right now. I'm going to end up painting them a little different later on. Here I've got some ground up pastels that I'm working into the groundwork. You can put them in dry like this and then add terpenoid odorless uh, turpentine and it'll give it a different effect. Um, sometimes I use it wet like and put, put the terpenoid on it and sometimes I don't. And here I'm using some acrylic paint to highlight the oregano vines that I made. Uh, it's pretty effective and it looks really cool just given the ends of the leaves are the ones you can see highlights and paint them. It really doesn't take long and it's actually kind of satisfying. Here I'm uh, painting with artist oils some of the um, photo etch plants I added. Just using yellow and blue oil paint mixed together, I can get all kinds of different tones of green. And then I add some browns in there for some dead leaves or dead um, foliage, just to give it some more interest. Well, the scene is starting to uh, take effect here. Um, I wanted to put this cart in the scene and I switched it up to from the links to the master box dispatch set it comes with the car the horse and the three figures uh, it's actually a pretty decent set and i'm kind of playing it out here seeing how i'm thinking it's going to look um, the kuba wagon is from dragon and it's just painted black getting ready to uh, be painted here's the farm cart from mini art as I was going to use it I really detailed it out and weathered it as you can see here with with uh, paint that's uh, been worn and I've weathered it and I really like this cart but it overpowered the Kuba wagon and I just thought it looked really silly in the scene so I didn't add that at all. But as you can see, it's a cool kit. And if you weather it up, it, it looks quite nice. The uh, These rivets on the wheels, I, I probably should darken up a little bit here. But here it is in the scene, but never got used. So it's one of those edits in a movie that uh, gets taken out. 
but still looks kind of cool. So maybe I'll use it in another diorama I build in the future. The horse from the Master Box set is pretty good. Uh, underpainted in acrylics, and then I've used oils here to paint the horse. Uh, I love painting horses in artist oils. You can really get nice tones and a really good effect on how the horse looks and its uh, fur tones. Here's a close-up of the uh, fiber I used for the hedge. It was something I got from, uh, I think it was uh, Hudson and Allen a long time ago. I know the leaves came from there. And I've used it on my models as foliage for air uh, superiority to camouflage vehicles. And here I, you see the, uh, the white glue put on and then I just sprinkle the leaves on. And then once dry, just brush off what doesn't stick. Here you see the dragon Koopa wagon, the symbol signs for a vehicle that is for a officer. I purchased as just separate decals and I added it to this kit. The cart, you can see it's got some accessories from mini art from the, I think it's like a milk milk can set and it comes with a smaller cart which you'll see later on in the scene but here you can also see I painted the windows and here's the the milk cans and small cart and that will be seen a little later on in this scene but things are coming together as I said the windows and shutters are getting painted, the door got painted. Um, I'm starting to work on little details. And uh, it's, it's really a fun project. You can just keep working on it like a canvas for an artist. I kept, you know, painting stones and adding more weathering and washes here and there, streaks, um, highlighting plants, things like that. But that cart just overtook that Kuba wagon. It doesn't seem like it's to scale. And it just overpowered the scene. So it was definitely omitted. Um, when you put a big vehicle, if I would have put a large tiger tank or panther in here, it would just overwhelm this building. So a lot of times um, it's better to go smaller. And here's the final scene. Figures are painted. They're painted in acrylics. Um, not my best ever, but they're not bad. I was happy enough with it. I think the scene works. And uh, the figures are not bad. They're not, as I say, the best um, resin figures from good manufacturers, good artists who sculpt them are a lot better. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, here's a few more scenes of the final diorama.